Now, meanwhile, the family of Patrick Leoya was in Detroit with the family's lawyers during Prosecutor Becker's announcement earlier. And 13 on your side's Justin Bachman is live in Detroit with more now from the Leoya family and their lawyers. Justin. Hey, Val and Kirk. The entire Leoya family was not here with us today watching that press conference. It was just Patrick's father, Peter, and he was also joined by Israel Siku, their longtime friend, their pastor, and who has been acting as their translator as this entire situation has been unfolding over the past couple of months. Now, Peter said this morning he expected to be heartbroken. He got a call minutes before prosecutor Chris Becker announced that second degree murder charge, and Peter told us that that gave him a bit of relief. He and Israel spoke about the long journey that is ahead to seek justice. It's something they've grown used to. They've been fighting for it for multiple months. They've even taken that fight to the Oval Office. When he shook the president's hand, he looked the president in the eyes and he said, I need justice for my son. I came to America as a refugee. I ran away from war. I thought maybe I would be safe with my family here but my son has been killed. I just need justice. To the Kent County now, Patrick was killed on April 4th. They have been fighting this journey for a long, long time, searching for justice. And Peter, Patrick's father, told us that none of it would have been possible without the video of Patrick being killed. We'll give you his words exactly on that, the importance of that video coming up at six. For now, live in Detroit, I'm Justin Bachman, 13 on your side.